Hello guys in the previous video we have discussed about the radial projection in which we have covered the perspective projection and the elements of perspective projection on which it depends those who have not seen the video please watch it by clicking on the link given below in the description now we will continue to learn how to draft a perspective projection before drafting the perspective projection we need to know what is the cone of vision cone of vision is the area of sight or the angle of sight let us understand this by the figures this figure is the elevation in which a man is standing and seeing the object the field of sight that is the field in which he is seeing the object is conical in shape this is a conical shaped sight okay let this is the elevation now see its plan the plan is also showing a conical sight this shows the conical shaped sight now we further move on the field of vision is known to us is more than 180 degree but we are unable to see clearly over the whole range so the suitable field of vision is less than 90 degree and sometimes 60 degree the figure in the figure point marked by the red pointer is showing a beautiful perspective because the object is coming under the cone of vision but the point marked by the blue pointer is showing a distorted perspective because the cone the object is lying outside the cone of vision to see see the world beautifully the cone of vision is needed if you want to ask the question about the cone of vision please write the question in the comment box and i will give the answer of that now we will draft the perspective projection here is the question draw the perspective projection of the given plane at the eye level 25 mm this is the plan of the figure uh, and it is the elevation before drafting we have to imagine the shape of the object by using plane plan and elevation now we will draft the plan rotated at angle 60 degree you can take any angle mark the stationary point the distance of the stationary point from the plane depends on you mark the picture plane ground level and eye level picture plane ground level and eye level are discussed in the previous video the distance of the eye level is marked from the ground level the distance is of eye level is given in the question we have to mark it from the ground level now draw the line parallel to the side to the front side of the plan till the pp and extend them perpendicularly to the 
आई लिव ऑन द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर लाइन एंड द आई लेवल गिव द वेनिशिंग पॉइंट दिस इज ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो now extend the either side of the plane to the pp and make a perpendicular li line on this perpendicular line mark the height of the object and its element the i have marked the line mark the height of the object now use the cone of vision and mark the line from the sp that is the stationary point to each corner of the plan that you can see here the cone of vision is working let me show you This is the cone of vision. That is why cone of vision is important before drafting the perspective projection. Now extend these lines from the PP perpendicularly. Shown the figure. now from the vanishing point 2 draw a line passing through the height marked by us before as shown now from vanishing point 1 intersect the line like this the marking of this line depends on the imagination that you have made first before drafting the plan now this is the perspective view we will get after making the projection for more videos like this please like share and subscribe my channel arc flex